All right, we are live. Um, I'm going to wait a little bit. Some people hop on. We're just going to do a short live devotion this morning. And we'll wait for some people to hop on. So I've got some some coffee this morning. I don't know what you guys typically have for a morning beverage. You guys coffee people. I'm usually green tea. Today I went with coffee. I got some coffee from Ruby Roasters, actually, that I brewed at home. What do you guys <clears throat> drink in the morning? And I drink it black. We got some people hopping on. How many of you are, are black coffee people? Can't hear me. Okay. So Weston, you can hear me? Can the rest of you guys hear me? Okay, great. Amy, might be your phone volume. Okay, yeah, Ruby's the best. Yeah, Ruby's pretty good. There's a lot of good coffee around here. Okay, some coffee people. Green tea, Lauren, yep, I'm with you. Usually I do green tea. Okay. We got some people hopping on. Hi from Egan, Minnesota. Awesome. Welcome. Okay. We'll just wait another minute. And then we'll get started. Just a short devotion. I think it's important to start the day with some hope. Right? Haley Chai Tea. Yep, Haley's a Chai Tea girl. It's important for us to start the the day with some hope, some positive uh, thinking, some positive words from the Lord to set us up for our day, right? And so that's what we're going to do. And the verse that we're looking at today is, and, and you don't need to pull it up, I'll be reading it a few times, but the verse that we're looking at today is Psalm 46.10, Be still and know that I am God. Just a, a short passage. Be still and know that I am God. So Psalm 4610 used to have a very different meaning for me. Because one of my personality traits is an achiever. So I thrive off of accomplishing things. That means the day starts at zero. And the faster you move, the the more you can accomplish. Okay? And that's not a healthy way to live, obviously. Uh, but God helps us realize in this passage, be still and know that I am God helps us realize that there's more to life than just increasing its speed. Okay, More to life than just increasing its speed. We have to be still so we can hear God's voice because that's when we hear God's voice. And when we look at creation, times of quietness, times of stillness, that's a part of God's natural law. Think about it, the quiet in the morning, the way the, the wind and the water stills in the evening. That's, that was always one of my favorite parts of going up to the cabin as a kid, uh, is just seeing the water like glass in the evening and that calm. And of course the, the sun going down, right, forces us to be still. Now, we tend to fight that rhythm with electricity and lights that keep us up past the, the nighttime stillness, uh, the, the morning car ride, the morning mad rush to get somewhere, etc. But now, for a lot of us, things are different. This verse means something different to us, right? Things are a lot more still. Okay, maybe having all the kids at home doesn't mean things are still, uh, but at least in the sense that we're not going a whole lot of places. And these words, be still, and know that I am God, carry a different meaning. Okay, those words encounter our worry. Those words encounter our fear, our anxiety, our uncertainty. Now, we have to remember, as, as followers of God, followers of Jesus, God hasn't promised to spare us from difficult things, difficult times. He says we're going to face trials. But what he does during these times is he draws us 
closer to himself. Okay, for instance, if we're honest, how many of us would be on a 9 a.m. live devotion right now if life were back to normal? Okay, this, this is just one example of that, how God draws us closer to him in those tough times and in those times of stillness. So what this does is it causes us to reflect on our foundation. Okay, if what makes us or made us feel secure, if what made us feel worth something or feel valuable, if because of quarantine, because of what's going on, if those things have been taken away from us, we struggle. Right? We struggle. And it causes us to reflect on foundation. And obviously, Jesus is the one foundation that can't be taken away from you. That regardless of what happens in the world, what changes in the world, Jesus doesn't. And so the beauty of what God says here is not just be still and know a better way of life or be still and, and do something else. No, he says, be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. So when we struggle because we don't have control of, of what's going on, he says, know me, know me, right? Know a person, know that I'm greater, know that I'm bigger. Scripture says the eternal God is your refuge. So the question for us this morning then is what do you need to be stilled in your life? What do you need to be stilled in your life? What do you need God to speak into in stillness? Is it a, a racing mind? Is it a, a beating heart? Is it pressure that you're feeling? Is it doubt? And in your times of, of pause today, hear him inviting you into the stillness of his presence. You take those opportunities to, to talk to God, to feel God's peace, that he's with us, that he's bigger. And he's a God who's still in control. So we don't have to be, right? Even when we're not in control, we don't have to be. He's in control. So let's close with a prayer, and then I'll talk about how we can spread some hope today and some stillness. Let's pray. Lord, we're thankful that we can gather like this and that we can start our day with you. In your simple words, be still and know that I am God. Those are so powerful for us. Lord, we just take the opportunity this morning to lift up to you those things that are getting in the way of our stillness. So let's take a, just a moment right now to, to lift those things up to him. Lord, we lift up to you those things that get in the way of our stillness and we lift up to you those things this morning and ask that you replace them with your peace, with your wholeness, with your presence. God, you know every thought and how we, we let our worries crowd you out and take over. Lord, please still our racing minds. Draw us close with your assuring embrace. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so what we're going to do the rest of the day is... I'll post it in the comments of this video. I'll also post it at the top of our Mount Olive Facebook page. But it's just a graphic with this verse for Psalm 4610, Be still and know that I am God. Uh, let's, let's share it and let's fill that up on people's feeds today so that we can spread some hope, that we can spread some, some godliness, some stillness. And then we'll, we'll do this again soon. Uh, Mount Olive people will be on the lookout for Sunday, we're going to have a live stream service going on on our page. Okay, so we'll continue to be in touch. We'll continue to, to gather here and uh, be blessed today and be still and know that he is God. We'll see you guys soon.